Hi, my name's Phil Gardner and welcome to Fun With Boxes. Well, today I'm taking a look at this rather interesting looking game. And that is A Jest of Robin Hood from publishers GMT Games and designed by Frederick Saval. And this is the brand new game from GMT that has literally only just arrived here in the UK. A jest of Robin Hood, or perhaps it could be a guest of Robin Hood. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sticking with a jest of Robin Hood, indeed. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Well, this is a game for two players with a playing time of around 45 to 90 minutes. This has got a low medium complexity and a low solitaire suitability. Now that's something GMT always put on their game boxes there. A little diagram giving you an idea of just how complex the game is and whether or not it would be suitable for solo play. Just what is a jest of Robin Hood? Well, the year is 1192. Sir Robin of Loxley, a young and courageous noble, has recently returned from the Third Crusade to see his family disposed of its wealth by the corrupt sheriff of Nottingham. He decides to revolt against what he perceives as illegitimate authority and takes to the forest where he finds unlikely allies. But this is not your childhood tale of Robin Hood. That makes it all very intriguing, doesn't it? Very intriguing indeed. A Jest of Robin Hood is a board game that represents a complex figure, a social bandit leading an insurrection against the Sheriff of Nottingham. And there's that interesting word there, insurrection, because this game, whilst it does not belong to the coin series of games, I think it does borrow quite heavily on that game system. Let's take a fun with boxes look at what we get inside a game of A Jest of Robin Hood. Let's take a closer look at those game components, shall we? Firstly, we have the Rules of Play booklet, which obviously will give us all the information we need on how to play a game of A Jest of Robin Hood. And do not be alarmed by its 16 pages. A lot of this is full of very useful information, such as the back of the booklet shows you the setup diagram for how to set up the game. And some of the other pages are simply showing you the counter sheet that comes with the game, along with uh, all the cards there and a key terms index, which is very handy. So uh, the rules themselves are only around 11 pages and are all very clearly written and very well laid out. So that's your rules of play booklet. Next, we have the learn to play booklet. Now, this is rather special. Here, we have an introduction for the game. We have uh, details of all the components and the setup and a full example of play. At the back here, we have a teaching guide, which will give you some tips on how to teach the game to somebody else. And then we have an actual Robin Hood ballad there, right at the back of the rule book. That's very interesting. So this guide here, will take you through seven turns of the game, step by step. So that will help you learn to play the game without having to read the entire rules booklet. You can play through that example of play and then you can refer to the rules booklet and play a full game yourselves there. And this goes through all the components and everything around how to play and how to win, of course. Then we have the third booklet and that is the playbook and this will give you an introduction again to the game, background articles, card tips and backgrounds, a bibliography and designer notes and developer notes as well. This is absolutely chock full of information around how the game was developed and with a history there about the jest of Robin Hood. Fantastic booklet. Then we have the actual map board. It should be too big to show in the camera, I think, almost. Yes, just a little bit. Uh, 
but that should give you some idea of the, of the map board itself. Very, very nicely illustrated, very lovely map board. Then we have tarot sized cards here, and these are all rather nice. So we have all of these cards, which have this back, and these cards, which have this back. I've already punched out the counters and put them in little Ziploc bags. So we can see here we have some two dice for the game, a green and a white die. And then we have the actual playing pieces there. And markers for the game board. We also have two player mats for the players, which detail all the actions, the plots and deeds that you can do in the game and an area there for your available forces. And also on the back of each is how to set up the game and giving you some opening strategy tips for when you first play the game. Very handy. The game also comes with two player screens. Well, I must admit, I can't wait to take a look at this game. This is looks really, really fantastic. And I really think my wife is going to enjoy playing this as well, which fills me with happiness and joy because it's a GMT game. And Lisa hasn't played many GMT games, but every time she plays one, I think she falls a little in love with them. So I think A Jest of Robin Hood may well be that game that pushes her fully into GMT games. And then my, oh, above me here, my shelves and shelves worth of, of joy await her. Uh, I do hope that's the case. Well, as with all GMT games, the quality of this looks exceptional. Uh, from the number of rule booklets there, very clearly laid out, well written, the lovely illustrated mounted map board, the tarot card, uh, event cards and traveller decks, even the wooden pieces, everything about it is fantastic. And, and the thing that GMT do so well is, is with their rules books. You see, you've got the rules booklet, the main rules booklet. Then you've got the playbook, which will give you all historical background and uh, designer notes and things like that. And, and you've got the learn to play guide as well, which goes that extra step into helping people get into the world of GMT games. And it's just an absolute joy, I must admit, an absolute joy. Again, as I always say, I really can't wait to get this game to the table. It, it looks really good. In a game of jest of Robin Hood, history and strategy intertwine, inviting you to immerse yourself in a contest of wit and will. How will you shape the legacy of Robin Hood? Will you champion the oppressed as the legendary outlaw? Or will you maintain the status quo as the Narferous Sheriff? Who doesn't like a board game that uses the word Narferous? My wife has just informed me that I pronounced that word completely wrong and will continue to do so. So I do apologise. It is apparently nefarious which would explain why it's spelt that way. If only I'd thought about this a little more before filming, never mind. I mean, it's a word that just isn't used as often as it should be, perhaps. In I don't know. I'm not even sure what it means, if I'm honest. Is a piece of toast now for us? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Is my garden, which is th out there through the window, is that now for us? I'm not sure. Is, is this yellow shaped meeple thing not for us i don't know but the sheriff he seems not for us so um perhaps not for us doesn't mean a very good thing oh well it's something i will have to look up i guess
I can't wait to play this game. It looks absolutely superb. So there you go. I really do hope you've enjoyed taking a look at A Jest of Robin Hood with me. Please click that old like button and hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already. That would be quite fantastic. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please do take care and bye for now.